Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Bloom This Room. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the circadian rhythm and how lighting works with it to help us improve our wellness. Now, if you don't know what the circadian rhythm is, the circadian rhythm is an internal clock that we have that physiologically aligns with the sun in the natural world. Now, if you wanna know how this works, it's kinda of simple, but not really. It works through our eyes. That's the simple answer. Now, specifically, how does it work? Well, our eyes have three parts to them. We have the rods, the cones, and then this nifty third part called the intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells. A mouthful, right? Well, these cells send signals to our brain, specifically the suprachiasmatic nucleus, to tell our brain what time of the day it is and how much light we're getting through our eyes, right? So, what does this have to do with wellness and lighting in a space? Well, the more we are in tune with our circadian rhythm, the better we sleep is like the easiest answer. It also gives us bodily cues to, you know, do things like, oh, the sun's going down, Let's, it's probably time to stop working. It also works with us in our mental health. Now, I don't know if you've heard of SAD, but SAD is seasonal affective disorder. And this happens in the winter months when we are not getting as much sunlight as we are used to because the days are shorter. And it's a disorder where we literally just get sad because we're not getting as much sunlight. It's crazy, right? So, how does the circadian rhythm work specifically with the sun? Now, if you notice, when the sun rises, there are very warm hues, very red, right? As we move throughout the day and the sun gets higher in the sky, we get very blue, very white and blue light from our sun. And then as the sun begins to set, once again, we are getting these redder, warmer hues. That's also where we get golden hour, if, you, if you're into that. Now, how that works within our space with our lighting? Well, the best way to align our bodies with the natural sun is to quite simply open a window, get that natural sunlight coming in. The second thing you can do to really maximize that natural light is to use very light colors in your space, allowing the natural sunlight to bounce off the walls, off the floors and off the ceilings and pull that light in further into your spaces. Another thing you can do, specifically with your artificial light, this is my ring light, but you know, we have artificial light all around us, is how to learn how to properly layer those lights and the types of lights that you use. Now we have three types of lighting. We have general lighting, which is kind of the, the general lights, the ones that you use to see visually. You have task lighting, which are like your desk lamps, your floor lamps that you might have over your couch that you can read. And these just help us, you know, see clearly the tasks that we are doing. You also have them in your kitchen, in your workshop. And then we have accent lighting, which is just lighting used to accentuate something in the home. Think lighting that's beaming on artwork or wall sconces. Now, learning how to layer that light properly can truly help you. And the best way to learn how to layer this light is to learn the type of lights to use. Now, as we move into this age of smart homes and smart lighting, a great type of light to use are LEDs that can be layered. The one that I know that most people know is the Philips Hughes light. It's an LED that essentially can create a party if you want. It can go purple, blue, orange, green, but you can also control the hues and the color temperature in that light bulb. And you can also use your phone to schedule when the light bulb changes colors. 
Meaning, you can schedule the light bulb to be very red and warm in the morning, very blue and white in the afternoon, and then very red and orange again at night. Now, if you, you know, don't necessarily have the money for the Philips Hughes, one thing that I have done that um, I use pretty much daily, like I said, for the most part, for me personally, I keep the windows open because I have a lot of natural light coming in. But when the sun starts to set, um, because we have very white lights, we decided to use things like accent lights, specifically very red Edison bulbs in our home. And those are the only lights we typically use at night. So once again, moving my way back to the couch, that is the importance of the circadian rhythm. Another thing um, that people may not realize that it's talked about all the time, but it's not explained why, is the use of cell phones, computers, electronics at night. Now, I think you can probably already guess why that is, and it's because those things give off very blue light. Now, when we talk about our IPRGCs, they are very sensitive to blue teal light. And what that means is they send the signal to our brain to be on alert, which makes it harder for us to sleep, which is why you should probably put your cell phone down an hour before you go to bed, just so your brain can get that alert off of its brain and it knows to then relax and go to bed. That's also why you don't want really bright blue light in your spaces at night because it's it's gonna tell your brain that it's not time to go to bed yet. And that's what you need to know about lighting and the circadian rhythm and your wellness. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments and I cannot wait to talk to you next week. We're gonna be talking about functionality of office spaces at home and how to get the biggest bang out of your buck. We're gonna be talking specifically about me and my fiance, my fiance and I's office. So I hope to see you guys there. Bye.